Peace, power, and protection, my beautiful, beautiful Scorpios. Welcome, welcome, welcome to your channel messages. I will, you beautiful souls, are enjoying your strong and your Saturn's day. Welcome to any of you beautiful souls that may be new and tuning in for the first time. I go by the name of Q and I channel messages intuitively. I am a clairaudient reader, so I do incorporate music into my readings. And the way that it works, the name of the song, lyrics within the song, name of the artist, it will all correlate to what I may be channeling intuitively as well as what the cards may be showing and it all just blends very beautifully. So my spill here is eat the fish, spit out the bones. If the reading doesn't apply, just let it fly by, let it go, let it flow. Don't even try to force anything to be your story. My readings are also timeless, so whenever this video's popped up in your feed, that was divine timing and divine order that it's done so. To all of my beloveds that are returning, you already know what it is. Love is love is love is love is love. I send y'all extra love because I love y'all that much. So without further ado, we're going to dive right in to the reading and see what we have coming in. And what's going out what's going on with the beautiful scorpio energies it is officially uh december <clears throat> my throat is getting blocked already so i feel like there's uh because mercury retrograde is happening on december 13th i've already mentioned that in a former reading i do believe like you know when my throat starts getting choked up i almost feel like it's not like someone it is someone who's blocked communicatively but i feel like it's clearing up you know, because it feels like it's it's just trying to clear up. So I do feel like this month you may hear from someone or have a conversation that is long overdue. And this is going to clear the air. You're going to be able to get things some get some things straight, straighten some things out. Um, you may receive an apology. You may feel the need to extend an apology, but I definitely feel like communications opening up this month. Um, definitely don't fall into the traps. Here goes Katara saying good day to you all. But definitely don't fall into the traps of arguing with people. Um, I don't want you to uh, do that. You remember, you know, always protect your energy. On the back of this sweater, it says protect your energy. So always protect your energy. Um, never let anyone pull you down where they are. Some people are miserable. They want others to be miserable right along with them. So don't fall into the trap of that. But I definitely feel this month communication is going to be um, one of the highlights. It may be from someone you haven't heard from. It may be clearing up some things uh, with, you know, a beloved that you may have had some sort of um, disagreement with. Uh, but there's definitely communication that's coming up this month. That's what I'm picking up intuitively. But before we dive any deeper, I am going to proceed with the read after we pay homage to our beloved ancestors. Give me one moment. All right, my apologies. I had to close my patio door because I got nosy neighbors and I don't want them all up in my bed. In my bed. So, like I said before, uh, we delve into the reading and proceed with the read. Let's do some house cleaning. Katara decided to come back. She left and then she came back. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. And then we shall proceed with the read. Ashe. I call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether and spirit are shape i ask our beautiful angels archangels ancestors ascended masters spirit guides deities animal totems earth mother gaia universe source the divine most high god our creator to shine a powerful powerful message of love and of light i call personally upon baba obatala mama oya and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. And so it is. So mote it be. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe yo. So whenever Katara comes to the reading, which is pretty much all the time, I feel like you're going to have a very powerful message. You know that cats are highly intuitive creatures and they also are imperative to threat. 
So I feel like, you know, when she shows up, it's really, you know, um, pointing um, at the importance of paying attention to your intuition this month, using discernment this month. Um, but she is a sweetheart. She's such a loving baby. Hi, that's my friend. Patio door was open for her because she likes to go out and look at all the trees and the squirrels running around the trees, the birds, and now the leaves are falling off the trees. So she just has a good old time looking out. She likes to watch the cars go by and the train, right? Yeah, you smiling. I love you. All right, so let's go back, get into the reading. So let's see what time we have in the Clizox. It is at currently 8.15. So that breaks down to 14, 8.15. So moderation. I get, you know, the temperance card is the 14th card in traditional tarot. And we have uh, Omega Pagay, uh, Pegao, and this is called Mimiri La Miro, um, and it's it's a Spanish song. So some of my my viewers may be Puerto Rican, Dominican, Cuban, Honduran. You know, you can be from you know any of those beautiful uh, Brazilian. You know, so um, but this song, the meaning of this song, um, I actually. Uh, <clears throat> looked it up because I wasn't I wasn't familiar with the meaning of the song and it meant um, I looked at her and she looked at I looked at her then and um, looked at me or something like that let me see because I don't want to give you misinformation I'm very I'm very anal about that so it said I looked at myself and I looked at her so with patience, okay, so with that, that message, what I'm getting is like, maybe someone feels like I'm just getting a sense of like someone feeling someone else is out of their league because they looked at her and then they looked at themselves. So it's almost like someone may have felt like, okay, and even if this is a feminine looking at a masculine, it doesn't matter. The gender doesn't matter. I want to stress that this energy could be your energy. It could be someone that you're dealing with that's coming towards you who may feel these things. You just got to kind of switch it up because this is a general uh, reading, a collective reading, beloveds. So, you know, when I get that energy or when I hear that, it sounds like someone may feel like, okay, I got to clean myself up or I got to get my together in order per, to pursue this person so someone may be looking at you like you're out of their league or you may be looking at someone like they're out of your league um, like there's more work that they need to do whether on themselves whether on their finances whether you know emotionally spiritually like they want to level up so it's almost like you um, you you kind of inspire someone to step their game up um, it's almost like they're learning from you uh, that teaching and learning card came out in a form of reading. So I do get a sense of someone like kind of learning, um, you know, maybe learning your love language, learning your interests. Maybe they're watching you from a distance. Maybe they're kind of doing a little, you know, investigative work in that page swords energy. But we shall see. Uh, so that patience, someone's being very patient, being very, very meticulous, um, you know, very intentional. I feel like someone is really taking the time to get it right. So they are, you know, kind of, you know they're they're being wise about um, how they execute their at their action or how they execute some form of action so that's what I'm getting and like I said someone could be um, from Puerto Rico Dominican um, Dominican Republic Cuba um, so I see a happy ending here on the bottom of the deck which is very beautiful so this beautiful yellow card is showing that there's definitely indeed a happy ending this 93 breaks down to 12 and 12 is the hangman so as i said someone is observing someone is taking that that pause that moment to reflect to you know introspect even and this is a sacrificial position so i do feel like someone is being very intentional um to you know take a pause take a moment to look you know at things from a different perspective someone was forced perhaps to look at things from a different perspective or to gain a different perspective. Um, but they're absolutely, you know, having some sort of epiphanous moment because this is a very bright yellow card. I feel someone is very like much drawn to you, attracted to you, uh, realizing that you, you're a ray of light. 
like you just have this beautiful very magnetic uh, aura beautiful personality um, with this 93 it breaks down to 12 which is the hangman energy so that's that reflective energy but then that 12 breaks down to three so you are someone that could potentially be seen as out of someone else's league because of the simple fact that you're in that empress energy or if you're masculine in that emperor energy so that is the reason why you know this person is looking at you and then looking at themselves like yeah I got some work to do because that empress knows her worth she's very strong that emperor knows his worth he goes after what he wants he's a leader you know they rule empires the empress and the emperor and they also tap into their divinity so they're always creating they're always manifesting birthing new ideas new ways of thinking tapping into that divinity as that divine feminine and masculine so they are like you know like alchemically powerful um, because they can utilize the elements around them just like the magician so they are master manifestors they're very powerful very nurturing maternal paternal energy as well um but as I said, they are leaders. So this is why someone feels like, okay, let me get myself together. That three also deals with the solar plexus. So someone could be really mustering up the strength and the courage to pursue you, to come towards you. And I get a sense of this being like someone who's just kind of like watching um, from a distance. Like this isn't anyone um, that's like, uh, I don't feel this is like someone you dealt with in the past this could be new energy and i just saw that 11 11 as i was in the middle of my spiel and um so that could be speaking to like a very strong union and partnership you could be building and developing and cultivating with another person because that 11 11 is the vibration of that heart chakra that four deals with the heart chakra um that also deals with the divine masculine so as i was breaking down this three I saw that 1111, which is the four, which deals with the divine masculine. So this is, could be like a soulmate or a cosmic companion. Um, we have right now um, Dave East, and the name of this song is called Numb. So, you know, someone could have been very numb, you know, healing. That's why I feel like patience also, um, you know, was, you know, very prevalent because when we first started the reading, uh, it was, you know, it reduced to 14, which deals with temperance. And temperance is all about balancing things out. So perhaps you were dealing with someone who was very numb when it came to their emotions, their feelings. Um, maybe they went through heartache and they just kind of shut their, you know, shut things off, went very cold. Because a lot of people tend to do that um, after heartache. They'll just kind of, you know, put up these walls, these blockages, these boundaries, um, and they don't allow anyone in. So for whoever this is, someone's name could be Dave. Someone could be from the East Coast. Someone could be, um, I'm hearing... East Harlem, I'm here in East Harlem, someone could be from Harlem because that's where Dave East is from, um, but I'm also feeling like, you know, someone is really um, starting to thaw, I see something thawing, that's why that 12 was there also, we saw that hangman with the 93, where someone is kind of reflecting, getting a different perspective, seeing things from a different vantage point, um, maybe you're giving someone hope and optimism, um, you're shining a light on the possibilities of love or what love looks like, feels like in this person because they were once numb. So let's tap in. Let's see what's on the split. So we have financial discipline. So that could be the reason why they're looking at you, looking at themselves like, yeah, I got to get my money right. This 48 also breaks down to 12, which is three yet again. So this three and three breaks down to six. So this three always gives me the feeling of like three of pentacles with financial discipline. This is someone working on their finances so that they have something to offer this empress so that they can really, you know, um, build and cultivate that connection, that relationship. Uh, you know, this is really someone coming in uh, wanting to work together, wanting to uh, you know, partner up with you, team up with you, unite with you more importantly. And with this six, this is, you know, an energy, you know, because the six breaks down to the lovers. No, Katara. No, she keeps trying to take all of the balls off of the Christmas tree. Get away from there. Move. <laughs> she been... <laughs> <laughs> she is so bad. When I tell you this girl is bad, she's like literally a toddler. Gets into everything. You tell her no a gazillion times, she go right back to it. Hilarious. But she had all the balls on the floor the other day. So I'm like, can you please leave the tree alone? We still got 22, 23 more days. This is going to be a ballish tree in a minute. <laughs> she's such a bit. Thank you. Come up here and just relax. <laughs> Sit up here with me. Thank you. And don't try to be sneaky and go the other way. 
You want to take a little nap? Okay, good girl. All right. But yeah, so this six is the lovers. So this is definitely speaking to partnerships, alliances, collaborating with another person. This is also a union that, you know, your angels could be aligning you with someone that's definitely made in your image um, of sacred bond, spiritual partnerships, a very sacred connection. Um, we have playing on the playlist right now. Um, this is Cry For You by Jodeci. So someone does cry for you. Um, I, I get a sense like maybe this is someone you know because the six could also be indicative of like that six of cups energy where someone could be returning to you, um, you know, after perhaps walking away. Uh, I'm not getting like a toxic ex or a toxic person that you just worked so hard to heal from. I'm getting someone that just really misses you. Someone that you may not have spoken to in a while because you may have moved away. You may have, you know, created some sort of space, safe space for yourself. You may have relocated because I also see like the Six of Swords energy where you removed yourself from, you know, volatile situations. Um, and this person could have just been, you know, one of those people got that, you know, got left behind uh, when you were making those um, changes. Uh, with this Six, I do feel someone's returning. Uh, uh, you know, we know Mercury retrograde, it really deals with communication. I was saying that you may hear from someone that you haven't heard from in the past or from, a you know, heard from in a long time from your past. Uh, so this could very well be that person's energy returning. And I do feel with 1616 16 on the clock, that breaks down to 7, 7, that breaks down to 14. 14 again is the temperance. So this person's been very patient because what they want to communicate to you is something very serious. They want you to take them seriously. So they're being very meticulous, just as I said. So whoever this person is, I do feel that they love you. That I do feel that they feel a very strong connection, bond, chemistry, synergy, um, you know, to you, the attraction for you. Um, and this could, this could be someone that really uh, thinks about you a lot. You know, maybe they yearn for you. You know, when you're crying for another person, that means you miss them. That means you think of them often. It, like, it's painful uh, when someone's not in your um, in your life and you, you know, you have all these memories kind of flooding your, your mind and you don't have no way of communicating with that person. We also have 71, uh, 91, pardon me, surrender. So this three and this one breaks down to four. So this could be that divine masculine that we saw earlier. Um, or this could just be someone that does love you. They're surrendering to love because remember Dave East was speaking to, uh, someone feeling numb you know, someone going numb, growing numb. And I feel now their heart is thawing because this four deals with the heart chakra. So with this financial discipline, someone could give you, could be like trying to, um, you know, create space for you. Maybe they've, like I said, learned a couple of things from you by um, just watching you from a distance. They may keep tabs on you and they're trying to get their ish in order so that, that when they do come towards you, there's they can build on a solid foundation with you. They're willing to surrender from love. The opposite of this card is the number 19 and it's pride. So I do feel this person has gotten it of, rid of some sort of ego and pride and they're ready to surrender to love. They're open to love. They're ready to love, period. You know, so this is someone that's going to be more receptive in this situation. And I do feel like they're coming in and wanting to work together. Like they're not going to let you do all the work. Maybe that's what some of the um, confusion was in the past was maybe you didn't feel this person made enough effort or they didn't show enough interest or they didn't really prioritize you or make the time for you. And I feel this time around, maybe, you know, they're going to communicate that, you know, look, I was, I was effed up in the game. I didn't really have the money to really court you, or I didn't really have the money to really do the things I wanted to do. So they could have just kind of fell back because of that, you know, men and their pride is something, um, you know, men could get, be very proud uh, for various reasons, but when it comes to their finances, that could really take a toll on them. So I do feel like someone is kind of surrendering now and not really, you know, focusing so much on the money, but now really opening themselves to the emotional connection. And they feel like you're a wish fulfillment. I see this, follow your dreams. And there goes that number 14. Um, oh, that's not follow your dreams. Pardon me. So this is that moderation. So this is the patience that was required. And I just saw 1919, which is 1010. 10. So there's been a lot of uh, changes, completions of cycles, things coming full circle. 1010 10 reduces to 20. And that is the judgment card. So I do feel this person wants justice. But I also feel 
feel like this is something that someone's had some sort of wake up call. Uh, you know, because when you think of the judgment card, there's an angel blowing a horn and there's people coming up out of these boxes that these dark boxes, which almost kind of look like, you know, coffins. So it's like that same energy of someone feeling numb. You know, after you sit in a position a certain while, uh, a certain time, you know, time frame um, for a certain amount of time, I should say. It's like, you know, you, you so parts of your body can start to lock up. Your foot starts, you know, falling to sleep and, you know, saying so I feel like that's the the numbing is like now that, you know, now that they've come up out of that that box and they are feeling more, um, you know, more free. It's like now they can open themselves up to love. This 14 is also saying like, you know, they're taking their time because. They want to get it right. You know, this this is really someone being very intentional, being very meticulous, you know, and for the right reasons. And they're not plan planning and plan planning um, any type of demise. Uh, this is someone who wants to, you know, to uh, recuperate, you know, or recover or reconcile um, with this 14 five. I feel like they're trying to collect themselves and express themselves communicatively. So we have spiritual career there. So you may be very psychic or intuitive. I hear a siren going off. So that is, um, telling you to trust your intuition. Just as I was saying, when Katara starts showing up, you know, that is a cause of alarm. Um, so this environment card, this was, uh, um, I feel someone could be already in like within your circle, your cipher. Um, we have Nas, uh, and this is uh, car 85. Someone could be from Queens, New York. Some of you all are seen as a queen, a goddess. Some of you are, you, of you are seen as a king, a goddess. But this 4-4 four, four is, you know, showing that there's been a lot of healing on both parts. Like you've done a lot of work to heal yourself. And in healing yourself, you've also uh, could have inspired someone else to do their own internal work. Whenever I see double numbers for all of you newbies, um, that makes me feel like you're mirroring someone. Someone's coming in that's mirroring your energy, your vibration. And the four is associated with that heart chakra. So I do feel there's been a lot of work on your heart, on your soul, your spirit, uh, getting down to the root cause of any past traumas, um, whether they be familial, childhood, um, whether even in love, disappointments in love. But I see that there's been just a lot of intention on healing. And now you have this emotional intelligence. Um, someone also feels like, you know, you're very, very grounding. This connection is very grounding, very inviting. Um, you could be seen as someone that's a wish fulfillment as well. Uh, with car 85, that 85 breaks down to 13. So they've watched you transform. And through your transformation, you've definitely emerged someone new. They see you as very abundant or very, um, you know, emotionally fulfilled, uh, you know, just very satisfied, happy, content, elated. Like you just bring a lot of love and peace in their life. Like this is a situation that they could see you both kind of building and cultivating a solid foundation with one another. Um, they want to work together. This is someone that's willing to put forth the work, put forth the effort. This is someone coming in, as I said earlier, very intentional. Uh, this is someone that may also love to be out in nature. You may meet this person outside. Um, you know, this could be someone you bump into, uh, you know, just on a stroll, a nature stroll, or maybe you bump into this person, like I said, um, just in the outside setting, you know, maybe you're walking to your vehicle, maybe you're walking to an office building, maybe you're going to some sort of business meeting, uh, maybe you're going to handle your BI, your business, and you may just bump into this person. They may start, you know, spark some small talk and you just, you know, hit it off. Maybe that's how you met this person. Um, I feel there's, com you know, some sort of um, pre-existing connection, you know, because this to me makes me feel like the, you've already planted seeds and roots with someone. So you could have met someone at your place of employment or within the community that you reside in. Because uh, I just feel with all this green that something has already um, flourished. You know, there's something within this connection that has already flourished. And there goes the wish fulfillment right there. That's another 85. We was just speaking to Nods' song, Car 85. So I feel with Car, that Car reference is saying this person is coming towards you. And this 85 is showing that they've also gone through some sort of transformation. And through that transformation, it has awakened them to what they want and what they desire. 
and their heart truly desires you, which is why they're coming towards you. So let me show you again, car 85, just so you know I'm not tripping, tripping. And this is Nas's song. So car 85 cars are what are, that's what's used to travel. And um, we did have the train go by. So this person is coming to travel. I feel there is distance. You know, this eight of, um, is also given like not only the eight of pentacles, but I'm seeing the eight of wands. Um, so they are taking action and it says follow your dream. So this person is definitely coming towards you because they feel you're a dream or wish fulfillment. They feel like you're, you know, someone that they wish to uh, pursue. Um, so we have 61 self-love here on the bottom of the deck. That's the number seven. That's going to be there for who or what you're attracting to you. We got 78 spiritual career. This is your overall energy. So many of you are pursuing your spiritual careers. Many of you have already started to really, um, you know, tap into your divinities, master your craft. A lot of you are psychic. A lot of you are tower readers. A lot of you are scryers. A lot of you are intuitives, clairaudient, clairvoyant, clairsentient. A lot of you are very psychic. You know, you tap into your Christ consciousness, that God frequency. You could be someone who's also, um, you could pick up on energy. So you could be a channeler of some sort. Maybe you heal people remotely. Maybe you are a spiritual practitioner, a Reiki healer, sound therapist. Um, but I do feel like many of you are skilled, um, and may have a calling or an anointing on your lives. The 78 breaks down to 15. So this is something that you do, that you love, that you're passionate about. Uh, I also feel like you may have some folks that could potentially be in competition with you. Because that 15 does deal with the devil. So you could have some very... Um, you know, negative Nancy's around you, Debbie Downers, Lion Larry's. And I feel like you see through that, you know that already. You could pick up on that energy. Um, I feel that's also what you're moving away from to pursue these dreams, goals, and aspirations because you may have had a lot of people who, you know, could have been kind of stunting your st like, you know, kind of trying to like jack your style trying to bite from you, trying to steal your ideas because they're unoriginal, because they really don't have a gift. Um, so you can have some folks that could really be just trying to be manipulative, uh, trying to be puppet masters, just tricksters, um, gaslighters, you know, but you see through that because you're, you know, with that six, that you use your, your intuition, you're very discerning. So you can see through all of the hate even though they may be smiling and beguiling in your face, you can see through all the hate. Who or what you're attracting to you is someone that's worked very hard on self-love. They learned that love is an inside job. I feel you've also learned to love yourself because when you love that self, you could heal that self. Uh, when you heal that self, you could love that self, pardon me. And then when you love, you know, heal that self, you can learn to um you, you know thyself. So heal thyself, love thyself, know thyself. So you now know thyself because you have the self-love. Self-love is always an inside job. You can't love anyone else unless you first love yourself. And that is something that you had to grow um, to learn. You've learned this through your growing period, through your karmic cycles, through those karmic lessons, through completing those karmic cycles with those karmic exes, uh, whether those be loved one, you know, loved ones, your family, your, your, your so-called friends, your inner circles, your colleagues. It's like you had to learn these lessons. Uh, I'm hearing the hard way, but you, you've grown personally, spiritually, emotionally, um, you know, even mentally you've grown, you know, you've evolved and that's why you're more prone to trusting your intuition. That's why you went through what you went through, uh, so that you can tap into your divinity, uh, because you do have a gift. I feel you've been honing that gift. So let's tap in. So why, who or what is our beloved Scorpios attracting to them? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. So these two cards flipped over literally. So you have the 63 parenting. So a lot of you have been birthing new styles. I feel like you have really been, you know, just being very loving on your own children. You know, really making sure to prioritize your children. I also see the 7-7 seven, seven spirituality. So you definitely are attracting someone that is made in your likeness. You got 78 and 77 which is pretty much synchronicity you know um so this is the energy here so i feel like you are someone who can really pick up on energy very well and you may know that uh, someone is rushing towards you um to communicate express something because that 77 does break down to 14 uh so that 14 is you know the patience i feel like that's 
probably you know what you started to do was just focus in and hone in on whatever skills gifts and talents you had and master them and now when this communication comes in i just saw 29 29 which is 11 11 when this communication uh does come in i feel like there will be clarity i feel like this person will be able to you know give you some sort of of um explanation as to what was going on this is someone who's also grew personally who's also worked on themselves this could be someone that you have been manifesting with this seven eight that's six the seven seven breaks down to 14 that's five this all breaks down to 11 and i just saw 29 29 which was 11 11 so you got 11 11 here so spirit is confirming that you have someone that is your divine counterpart or your soulmate that's coming in uh, because this is who or what you're attracting to you and with that 11 that all this breaks down to it's giving me the two of cups because 11 breaks down to two uh, so I'm seeing someone that's going to give to you equally I'm seeing that this is someone that's also spiritual I'm seeing that this is someone that is on your frequency your vibration this is just someone that is made in your likeness like they've done a lot of work on themselves because when you think of the one it's about taking care of you first and foremost prioritizing you that one deals with the root chakra so there's been a lot of focus on healing thyself as i said earlier in order to learn to love thyself in order to learn to you know know in order to learn thyself or know thyself know what you're worthy of know what you're you know what you you know should cut out of your life um knowing your your you know your value ultimately um, and this is a beautiful energy because I just feel like you're, you're match, you're matching someone's energy or someone's coming in that's matching your energy. Uh, and there's a lot of communication telepathically or intuitively. And I feel it's because this person knows how intuitive you are. And I feel like they know because like I said, they could be watching you from a distance with this parenting number nine. I feel like there's been a pause. There's been like, you know, almost like that hermit mode where, you know, it's a pregnant pause where, you know, it's, it, there's no action being taken, but there's work being done, you know, so to speak. So it's like, and you just, you, you, it's a pregnant pause. You know, I can't even, you know, define it. it. It's just, I'm seeing it in my mind's eye, but it's like, there's still a lot of internal work being done. You're still birthing new ideas. You're still getting rid of faulty belief systems. You're still transforming, but you're doing all of this quietly. It's like you're in an incubation um, state or you're like in the hibernation uh, so that you can take that time to, to grow, to heal, to nurture yourself. And when you come back into, um, you know, when you come back out um, of that hermit mode, when you get out of that hermit mode, it's like you're, you're automatically going to, uh, you know, come into alignment with someone that's made in your likeness. So it's almost like that seed that's planted in the earth. Um, that seed grows in darkness. And that's what I feel with this, this 63, the nine. Um, that's the highest number in vibration of change. We got 32, 32 on the clock. That's five, five, that's 10. So there has been a death of the old and there's a birthing of the new um that 10 does deal with the um um what does that 10 deal with <clears throat> what is the 10th card oops I'm, I'm drawing a blank here and just for the sake of time i'm gonna look that up i'm drawing a blank it's all good it happens to the best of us so that 10 come on now come on come on Isn't that the um, Wheel of Fortune? I think that's the Wheel of Fortune, if I'm not mistaken. Ten is the Wheel of Fortune. Yep, I'm tr I was tripping. See? Yeah. So the ten, yep, so there's there's a turning point. So there's definitely a turning point. So there's definitely this, this you know, things are turning around, I feel, in your favor. And it has a lot to do with, you know, your evolution, with your growth, with your ascension. So how someone feels about you is they really, really want to manifest you. They feel you're a wish fulfillment. That eight gives me infinite possibilities. So they can see possibilities. They can see a future with you. We have, um, who is this playing on the playlist? We have um, Roberta Flack, Donny Hathaway, Where is the Love? So this is definitely someone who's coming towards you because, they, you know, they want they want the love, that old thing back I'm hearing. Like, they want love. And this is an all pink card, which does deal with the heart chakra. 
So someone does see you as a star, sees you as that wish fulfillment, and they're trying to manifest you. This is someone being very intentional about what they want. They also see that you've manifested a lot in your life, that you're very strong. Like they, they, the way that they see you is they see you as very strong. They see a lot of things happening and opening up in your life. You've also put them in time out, you know. Um, they feel like you've really taken a, a pause, a moment to reflect or introspect. Yep, they see you as a wish fulfillment. I can't make this up. And they feel like they need to pursue you, you know, because it's like now that you're in that empress and emperor status, you're not going backwards, you're moving forwards. So they don't foresee you coming back um, to them. So they, that's probably the reason why that song was playing in the beginning where it was like, you know, they look at you, then they look at themselves like, oh, yo, I got to get my ish together, you know, but they're ch definitely, um, trying to manifest you or they feel that you are a master manifester. And that's what I was saying earlier when I was breaking down that number three for the happy ending card in the beginning of the reading is like that you are alchemically powerful. You know, you're a sorcerer, you're a master manifester, and whatever distance is between you and this person, it's like they want to close that gap. So this 11 and this 8 is 10. I was just breaking down that number 10 um, being, you know, the wheel of fortune. I do feel like you have a lot of unexpected income coming in, uh, financial blessings coming in, job offers coming in. You may receive a promotion out of the blue. You may receive a bonus for Christmas. You may receive just money you know, money may uh, start to, you know, just get better. You might might start seeing that, you know, um, if you were struggling for the past six, seven months, 10 months, I feel like, you know, coming into 2024, you're going to start to see your finances improve. And I feel it has a lot to do with your intention, like with you setting intention and speaking, you know, things into existence, claiming what you want. So how does this person feel about our beloved Scorpios? Let me get a message. Peace, power, and protection spirit. How does this person, our beloved Scorpios, are attracting to them, feel about them? I get a message of peace, power, and protection. I saw something flip over. So we got two cards that are turned over. Nothing else. Bottom of the deck, we got 91 surrender. So they definitely are surrendering, which means that they are no longer, you know, holding back. They're ready. They're ready to come towards you. And it's because they're looking for love. It says, where is the love? So wherever they are right now, they're not feeling that love. They see that you've been healing. They see that you've been growing. But look what they've been mirroring your energy. Just as I said, you got two cards that are doubled, which means that they're mirroring your energy. And it's beautiful cards that they're mirroring. So this is showing, like I said, that they too are very tuned, you know, tapped into their spirituality. But they're also very cognizant that they got some healing to do because they've been watching you. That 12 is the hangman. So they've been watching you heal and work on yourself and open up your throat chakra because this is an all blue card. So that's what they They've been doing they've been taking a, a little page out of your book and that's what's making them feel stronger more confident to come towards you because that 12 breaks down to three which deals with the solar plexus so they see you as someone very confident and very strong and this is what they ultimately want they want this domestic harmony that 46 is given like the ten of cups ten of pentacles emotional fulfillment financial fulfillment they feel like they could build and cultivate and nurture a relationship with you a satisfactory one not, not just getting with someone just to be with someone like they could see a future they could see happiness with you they feel happy with you and i feel like that's something they're going to express with this three and this one this is a divine masculine because this three that the 12 breaks down to and then this 46 breaks down to one they're very attracted to you because this 46 breaks down to one which is you know a very felicious number but this four overall is love that deals with the heart chakra and i feel like they've become more emotionally intelligent more expressive when it comes to their feelings because in the past remember they were numb they didn't really know how to emote and now they're coming towards you as i said because it's almost like by watching you it's it's thawing them it's almost helping them to see um, things more optimistically or to believe in love again. And so they're coming towards you. They want to build with you. They want to, you know, you know, establish a strong foundation with you is what I'm gathering because they feel that there's, um, you know, that, that you're worth it. You know, they feel you're worth it. They feel this connection could go the distance even, um, with that four, that is the vibration of that 11, 11. We did see 11, 11 on the clock. Just as I said that it was 11, 11, 38, 38 is 11, 11. So this person is surrendering. If they was proud, egotistical, if they was prioritizing other things and, and putting you on the back burner, they're not going to do that anymore. Um, what we have playing right now, this is still, oh, I paused it. So let me go to the next song. So who do we have? We got Jay-Z says lost one. 
So what's hidden is this person definitely um, doesn't want to lose you. Remember what I said about them feeling like, you know, they could potentially lose you if they don't if they don't take action. So they're going to surrender. This means they're coming out of that ego. They put in their pride to the side and they're going to take action. This 91 is 10. So that's movement. Whatever delays or blockages, that's like, you know, the, the, the wheel of fortune is turning. So things are going to turn around in your favor because they don't want to lose you. Someone's name could be Jay or Chrisette or Michelle. Someone could be from Brooklyn. <clears throat> so divine spirit, what's hidden in the energy for our beloved Scorpios? Let me get a message of peace. Thank you, spirit. And we have physical activity. What did I say? They're going to take action. This is that person where, you know, there was some sort of transformation within their psyche. I feel like this person really started to look at things for what they truly were. And if they didn't take action in the past, that could have been you know, the reason why things kind of fell apart, which is what I was gathering. And it's because they love you. This person loves you. So they're going to come in. This is intentionality. This is someone, you know, putting forth the work. You know, they're going to show you better than they can tell you. Maybe in the past, there was all talk, no action. This time, they're going to be all action. You know, they're going to let their action speak for them. And this love, this is what they feel. We saw that six love earlier. And this is what they feel for you. This is the this is the motivating um, factor. This is what's motivating them to take action. You know, this is someone that does love you, and they could communicate this love. I definitely feel like you will know this because uh, you will feel it. You know, this person doesn't want to lose you because that thirteen deals with the death. You know, so th this this is like you know I feel it's the death of the old, and it's the birthing of the new. The six. And seven breaks down to 13. That 13 breaks down to four. So this could be a divine masculine that's coming toward you, that's taking action, that's going to be very expressive, you know. So let's tap in. So why is, what's the outcome for our beloved Scorpios? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection, spirit. Thank you, spirit. Finish my shuffle. Bottom of the deck, we got nine completions. So they could have been wrapping up a cycle themselves, you know. Um, cause we did see 10, 10. So there goes the individuality card. So someone was stuck in a codependent relationship, perhaps, you know, maybe someone had some sort of addictions, afflictions, you know, some, some negative attachments. We have 16 rebirth. I was just speaking to someone going through a transformation. And I was also saying someone wants to reconcile and there goes that 93 happy ending. I just saw 41, 41, that's 5, 5, that's 10. So there is a turning point in this relationship. And we also have four, perseverance. So someone is persevering, overcoming, you know, some sort of obstacle. And I feel that's the optimism that someone needs to pursue what they truly want. And it's because they've gotten rid of some sort of karmic uh, situation or they've finally released something negative. They let it go. Nine is the highest number in vibration of change. So this is what's causing, you know, this, this change. Someone could have, been, could have been in, like I said, a codependent relationship and had to take some time to be, you know, single. Had to take some time to, to learn that their independence is the foundation for their stability and their security. I do feel like there was some sort of demise in a relationship. I feel like someone is moving away or someone is relocating just to get away from something toxic, you know. Um, I also see with this rebirth that someone has had some sort of major change take place in their life. And I just saw 42, 42, which is 6, 6, that's 12. So they've taken that pause, you know, to reflect. They're looking at themselves, looking at their actions, and maybe even reflecting on people from their past, the circumstances from their past, and learning from them. But it's like this is what's, you know, really, um, this is what's really inspiring a major transformation and, and also, you know, someone growing, you know, that seven deals with the crown chakra. So now they're seeing things very clearly. Um, you know, now they're trusting their intuition with this 93. That's again, you know, that vibration of reflecting, taking onus, accountability, looking back in awareness, you know, and when you can be honest with yourself, that's when you're most happy because you're being your authentic self. You're not just living as a victim or making excuses or, you know, condoning bad behavior, even your own. It's like when you take onus and accountability, you open yourself up to growth. You open yourself up to mature. 
and that's what someone did 43 43 7 7 that's 14 that's 5 that's the patience that was required we saw that 14 moderation card in the beginning and that 14 is all about temperance so it's about good things taking time to create things balancing themselves out finding that harmony within yourself that emotional spiritual equilibrium and that's why someone is happier because they've had that grand epiphany and they start to look back and they realize like damn you know that scorpio was actually a very good look <laughs> you know what i'm talking about and this four this is when they start to open up their heart chakra because those obstacles that were hindering them or those faulty belief systems that were keeping them trapped they've been liberated they've been you know they've had some sort of awakening and now you know they, this this is the perseverance the growth the healing and this also allows for the heart chakra to open up so now someone is really truly ready to love and open to love and they're no longer numb from love because they've had a rebirth they've had a major transformation it's a death and a rebirth and i feel the angels have helped you because four 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 was just on the clock if this is your energy or if this is the energy of who or what you're attracting to you a lot of scorpios will shut down close themselves off and not be bothered when they are hurt and a lot of it is because you are growing through a transformation so you don't have time to entertain people when you are healing you know so this could really speak to your energy of you feeling numb being very guarded having these these um walls up and now it's almost like you could open yourself up to love because you have real love coming in you have someone that's going to love you right according to amber mark so someone is going to shoot their shot and they're going to hit the mark is what i heard in my mind's eye someone's name could be amber this is beautiful so someone's coming in that's going to love you right and with this four here, and we just saw four, 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 someone's coming in that's a divine masculine. They see you as a divine feminine. This yellow and this green is very beautiful. That yellow is how they see you. You're a ray of sunshine, a ray of light. You radiate love. You're strong. You have vitality. You rejuvenate their spirit. You feed their soul. It's like they feel, you know, alive around you. They feel like you ground them. They see the maternal um, you know, energy or they, they see your masculine energy, your paternal energy. They see you as a protector, you know, as a provider. Um, they see you as someone who's very dapper, very debonair, very attractive, you know, very nurturing, very, very much, uh, someone devoted, you know, this three and this four is seven. So that is like the yin and yang energy. Cause that's the chariot. I feel they're rushing in. So let's see what all these cards break down to. So we got six. That's 11, that's 2, 5, 6, 10, 1, 3, 1, 4. So you got a wish fulfillment coming in. And this is someone that is mustering up the strength because the 8 is the, you know, the number of um, the strength card. So this person is mustering up the strength uh, to come toward you because, as I said, they look at you, then they look at themselves. But look, they coming in right now. Now they're matching your fly. In the past, they was all discombobulated. And now, you know, that masculine energy and that feminine energy, the divine feminine, I should say, and masculine, the emperor and empress, they're a suit. So this person is coming in to love you right. And it's because they take they took that time to get it together. You know, they knew they couldn't just rush in and say whatever. They had to come in and say, you know, the right things or get the right, you know, get, get, get their words together. You know, they had to formulate their words in a way that they knew you would be receptive. You know what I'm talking about? So let's tap in. So we have this ace of pentacles on the bottom of the deck beautiful energy so this is what they coming in this is how you come to uh an empress or an emperor with tangibles with something real to offer you know what i'm talking about and we got 47 47 on the clock yet again we saw 11 11 about four times in this reading that reduce that four is the vibration of 11 11 what did i say about someone shooting their shot you see that they shooting their shot because i said with amber mark they're gonna shoot their shot i was seeing like someone hitting their mark and this is love you right love me right rather so they do watch you you see that telescope someone does you know keep tabs and that's why they was you know taking their time because they wanted to get it right so now they know is the time you know this is the best time to come to it that's beautiful thank you spirit for that download so let's tap in see that so they they're trying to get it together they watching they're waiting for the right time there's no communication right now you know 
but they are listening to their angels, their ancestors. We saw that 444, so I was feeling like, you know, your ancestors, your angels are definitely are the ones aligning you with this person. And with this eight, you know, that these cards reduce to, I do feel like there's there's going to be some movement. There's going to be some activity or some, you know, some, some sudden activity. And there goes the magician. Someone's <laughs> manifesting. They're really manifesting this situation. This is someone utilizing the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit. And that's why I said good things take time to create. And we have the seven of cups here. And the magician. You're going to have a lot of options. I feel that's another reason why, you know, that, that siren went off earlier. Because I feel like you will have a lot of options. Because they're not the only one that sees you as beautiful, attractive, or dapper, debonair, handsome. Other people do too. So you're going to have you know, options, you're going to have to choose and be discerning, you know, um, we got this two of swords, as I'm speaking of choosing and discern, being discerning, there goes the two of swords, so really, you know, trust your intuition, um, this could also be them trying to make a decision as well, so let's tap in, we're going to clarify these cards, and then we're going to ride out, Na sheo, my spirit of peace, power, and protection, what messages, do you have for my beloved Scorpios? Get a message from my beloveds. One more time. I felt one more time. One more time. One more again. So we have Wu-Tang. And this is a promo. This was made in 1997. Someone could have been born in 1997. That 1997 reduces to eight. Same as all the cards here. So we have this three of swords here. So this is what... Has, like I said, you turned your pain into power. This is what you had to grow through this experience in order to discover what your, you know, what your actual gift was. You know, when you think of, you know, this, this three of swords that speaks to pain, sudden loss, a broken heart, disappointment. You dealt with people who really took advantage of you. You know, you really dealt with people who did not appreciate or value you or respect you enough to, you know, handle you with care. But everything that you went through and experienced, it's like you turned it into power. You know, you kind of honed in on that pain, healed it, and through healing it, you've evolved, you've ascended. So it's like you literally were the conduit of change in your own life. You can see in the background, you know, this person is kind of working with all these um, chemicals. So it's like that's that alchemical force, you know, of turning pain into power. When you think of the star, you know, that's that energy of turning, you know, that pain into power and healing and finding that that time to 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 grow you know, from the experience and learn and remaining hopeful and optimistic, you know, about whatever it is you've experienced. It's like, regardless of what you've been through, you, you weren't broken. And whoever these people were, they were very pompous, very arrogant. It's like they were trying to hurt you. They were very relentless in hurting you. They could have been very hurtful, doing things spitefully, saying things to, you know, to, to make you feel bad. Because this three and the six is nine, you know, this 78 breaks down to nine, um, six, pardon me, um, that 15, I was picking up the devil energy earlier. Um, so you were dealing with a lot of devil energies because, you know, that's what, the, that's what lead, the devil leads to pain. The devil leads to disappointment. The devil leads to compute confusion. So that's why it's very in, in, important to never submit your will to anyone. You know, you see, even here, this person is handing this person something when this person doesn't deserve anything. Maybe he's forcing this person to give it to him. But with this 78, the 15, you were definitely dealing with a devil energy that was very deceptive. That was a master manipulator. This person is naked, bore his soul, and he's still trying to take from this person. So it's like this person was never satisfied. Whoever hurt you. You know, whoever this was that hurt you, it was like they weren't satisfied. They wouldn't have been satisfied un un until you died. It was like they literally was trying to like, you know, if they weren't trying to literally kill you, it was like they was just trying to kill your spirit. So you didn't have the motivation and the drive to, you know, to, to, um, you know, to get back up. It was like they was literally trying to murk you. But because Scorpios rule death and transformation, it's like this was the catalyst to you 
discovering what your gifts was, what your passion was. It was like you was meant to go through this. This was destined, it was written in the stars for you to realize your own worth, your own value, because this pink deals with the heart. You know what I'm saying? And that purple deals with the crown. So this is about you turning pain into power, turning that pain and your vulnerabilities into a superpower. And now you're able to help heal others. You're able to help teach others, um, you know, to look for the signs for things that you may have missed, you know, the red flags and things you may have missed. We have the 10 of wands here on the bottom of the deck that you see that owl. Owls always denote wise dome. So you definitely became wise, learned to, you know, um, establish boundaries with individuals. People were definitely taking advantage of you, you know, because even this looks like someone taking advantage of another person. Like, you know, he's, he, he's stronger, he's powerful, he's holding a sword and he's still demanding, give me your bag, run your bag. So someone could have been stealing from you. Someone could have been just stealing your energy of energy vampire, but this is like being overwhelmed, overburdened with responsibility and not feeling like you have anyone to assist you. But I feel like you eventually peeped game because this, you know, elder back here, you can see this elder woman and then this owl shows that you learned, you know, you learned something. And that seven deals with the crown. So you learn from this experience. Some of you all could have been dealing with, you know, manipulative mothers or fathers or maybe the mother or father to your child or children. Um, this was just a game they played. They, they, you were overwhelmed with responsibility. I feel this is someone that did not, um, you know, handle their business. Like this is someone that made you do everything. And whenever they felt like, you know, stepping in and doing their part is when they did. But it was like, this person did not handle their responsibilities well. And you felt overwhelmed. You could have cut this person off. You took your power back. This person was like an energy drain. And I feel like there was a lot of arguments and communication um, barriers between you and this person. Um, because I see like, you know, the lightning striking and stuff like that. So I do feel like, you know, you had to get hip to someone's games because someone was pretending like, oh, I don't, I don't have it. You could have been a single mother, a single parent, you know, asking for, you know, just money so that you could get through the month to whatever it is to, to feed the children, to pay for the bills, to purchase certain things your children may have need. And this person is talking about they don't have it, but yet you see them flaunting cash online. Um, you know, on their social media, taking trips, um, you know, buying a bunch of stuff that they want, but not prioritizing their children. Um, this is someone that was never around to do their part. And now they may have come into a little bit of cash. And instead of making sure to grease your palms for all of the years that they didn't do nothing, they're sitting here, you know, nickel and diming you to death. Um, but I feel something is breaking through in terms of that burden. I feel like you now are having some sort of breakthrough um, where your finances finances are improving because maybe something that you've been you know honing a skill you've been honing and mastering is going to start um, you know it's going to start bringing in some you know extra stream of income for you because uh, that 14 breaks down to five which is the higher fence so some of you could be you know getting a new job you could be uh, going into a spiritual practice like I said that could be you know generating a new stream of income, but I also feel like that burden is lifted. Spirit is helping you. You've learned something. Um, you've learned a lot. You know, this was definitely a teachable moment for you. Why is the 63 parenting and 77 spirituality here for what's hidden for my beautiful Scorpios? Thank you, spirit. And this is the hermit. So you took that pause and I was saying that that hermit energy was right here because, you know, when you're in hermit mode, that's that time where you can reflect you know, gain introspection. You could look at things from a different perspective, you know, and you are birthing new ideas. You're still remaining hopeful. That flame is still going. So you still, you know, have dreams and aspirations. You're still going to pursue those dreams and aspirations and hold true to what your heart desires. Um, but this is also what sparked your spirituality, your, your, your spiritual growth, your spiritual wisdom as well. So who are what you're attracting to you, that hermit, this is a wizard. So I do feel like that's that energy of really tapping into your divinity. You know, the answers you seek are found within. So you took that time to really heal, especially after dealing with this type of volatile energy. This is a devil. This is an energy vampire. This is a bully. This is someone that was like emotionally, mentally, 
you know, verbally uh, abusive, um, maybe even physically abusive. And it was like spirit wanted you to distance yourself, to remove yourself from the situation so that you could see, you know, just how toxic, how volatile um, these energies were that you were dealing with. You was dealing with someone who was a player, a freak. You know, this is someone who had a lot of um, sexual addictions. Someone could have been burning. Someone could have been just like very promiscuous, just sleeping with any old nasty, skanky thing. Um, masculine or feminine, five, five, five. Oh, I thought I saw five, 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 but it's 58, 58, 13, 13. So that was the death. That was the demise of a relationship. This is a flighty energy. The Knight of Wands is all about passion and lust and all of the superficialities, but they don't really stay the distance. They don't really stay long enough to really cultivate a solid connection. They're just all about, you know, the fun. You know, they're all about the lust and the passion and the excitement right then and there. But then they poof, disappear like a thief in the night. But whoever this is, um, how someone feels about you is they're lusting after you. Someone is really lusting after you. But I feel like you definitely um, were dealing with someone who was, um, who was right, like flighty. You know, whoever this energy was, they were flighty. They was lying about stuff they was doing and who they was with, someone could have been burning. If you weren't with, like if someone wasn't um, being intimate with you, if you were in a relationship, it's because they were burning and they were on medication. They were on some, you know, medication, uh, antibiotics and ish to, to help heal that burning Johnson or that burning, you know, whatever, <laughs> vag, like that somebody was just nasty, just out there slept with the wrong person. So that could have slowed someone down also. But let's tap in. So why is the 66 healing? That could be why. So because how they feel about you is they had to heal. You know, they may have learned from you. Like, you know, your body is, is a temple. A lot of you all, I just get like celibate energy. Like you've been very celibate. You've been abstinent. You haven't been really, um, you know, out there just laying with anybody. You weren't doing that like you and that's why you're seen as so strong as well because you're preserving you know your your spiritual and sexual energy you know when you out there just giving the giving it to anybody it's like it's the people everybody's walking around you know they, they're taking a part of you or a piece of you, you sh um so let's happen so why is the 66 healing and 46 domestic harmony here the how this person scorpios are attracting to them feel about them and we have the two of pentacles so there is a someone making a decision wow they feel this this is what they feel i told you empress status you are an empress they see you as wise there will be a, uh, a message because this person has wisened up as well you know this person has definitely been working on themselves and they see you as just sexy a goddess just handsome and dapper you know fine you know just beautiful just look at this water like this is the water is the element of you know of emotion you know intuition um of healing like you just have a very healing and inviting you know energy and and it's just like they feel drawn drawn to you you're very regal that's why they was like look at you and look at me look at this it's like not any any old person can't just approach this empress this divine masculine and and, and get some get some time you know and, and talk game like she knows her worth you know he knows his worth like this is beautiful very intelligent you know you're building with a a, a beautiful owl this owl totem represents wise dome you know spiritual wisdom highly intuitive as well this is beautiful nine of cups you're loving yourself. There's no masculine around, you know, there's no masculine around. You're loving yourself. Both of these feminines are naked, which means that they have already been through that fire, you know, just like this energy here, naked, all of this energy, even if you're masculine, look at this mask, this energy is naked. So you've already bore your soul. You've already, you know, it's like nothing else could break you down. You're not embarrassed. You're not ashamed of what you've been through or what you've had to overcome. If anything, you've learned that it made you stronger. That's why this person wants to like build that home, that hurt. They want to take this leap of faith. 
you know this is someone ready to take that leap of faith to come towards you this is that person now because we have um who is this elder barge no that's a tiny desk so just us um this is uh Mays and frankie beverly someone could be from beverly massachusetts someone's name could be frankie but I feel it's been a maze. A maze is really just like trying to find your way. I feel like this person has been just trying to find themselves. That's part of the journey, you know, that soul journey, that dark night of the soul journey, trying to find your way to, you know, the lightness, you know, to that, to that light, to the light, you know, they're trying to find their way to you. You're the light, you know, this is some, this is something else, but this is what they've been, you know, dealing with is like, you know, trying to muster up the strength and the fool he just takes he just takes the leap. He's not afraid. So I feel this person has mustered up the strength because they see you as just loving yourself. You know, you're unbothered. You've learned to love yourself. There's there's something there was someone or something that was kind of blocking this person from you as well. There could have been, like I said, you know, whoever that devil was. Someone could have been trying to run some sort of interference here. Um, but this person has been trying to get to you. They could have been someone they were dealing with because I felt like someone was, you know, trapped in a relationship. And that's why this completion card was there because they had to figure out a, a way to navigate that or to get out of that. Um, and I do feel like that's what the hermit is, is like, you know, taking that pause to look at things from a different perspective. And they see you as a wish fulfillment. Um, look at this energy here. I just heard numb when I saw that. You know, you see that this is like almost like a Eskimo and he's walking in this and this this blizzard, it looks like. And you do get numb from the cold. So this person is thawing out now. You know, you've helped them thaw out. There's so much going on in this card, but that's what stuck out to me just now. But they see you as a star. When you look at this card here, that's like that star energy. She's in a body of water. So you are their wish fulfillment. This is how they see you, boy. Wish fulfillment. That's why that song opened up the reading, look at you. Then I look at me and I'm like, damn, I got to get my ish together. Especially that, that doesn't look like a confident male sitting on his ass instead of fighting that snake and taking that dagger and, you know, cutting away at it so he could get to that feminine, you know, it's almost like they feel like they're missing, you know, like you're slipping away almost. And the ace of pentacles came back out. This is the tangibles. They want to offer you something real. This is someone that wants to build they don't want to destroy. They want to build beloveds. This could be that new job. This is opportunities. This is, I was telling y'all, if you was broke, busted, and disgusted in this year, I feel like your finance is about to improve something crazy. And they see you as strong, which is why they're trying to muster up the strength, courage, and wisdom. Because look, they feel like you can see right through them. This, this the being has six eyes, not three. You know what I'm saying? So they got six eyes, so they feel like you can see right through them. And that's why they are trying to get their thoughts together. They're trying to get, you know, their, their words together. They're trying to come to you correct because that energy is powerful. So we have the two of pentacles here. And why do I got the fool there? Pardon me. Let me put this back where it belongs. So let's see what's hidden in the energy with the two of pentacles. I feel decisions, you know, trying to decide. And, you know, they're trying to decide because they know this time around, they, they, they got to show and prove. This is that I got to show and prove card because in the past I ain't showed ish and Scorpio walked away. Scorpio clipped them, them wings, cut the communication, <laughs> you know, so this time they're going to be very intentional. So why is 13, I mean, 67 physical activity here for what's hidden in the energy and with just us, it's like all they can envision is just the two of you reuniting you know, they definitely have love because that four that the 67 breaks down to 13, that four is definitely showing, you know, that their heart is open. So a card flipped over. I'm going to show you this card right here flipped and see that seven of swords. So dealing with some, you know, beguiling energy. This is also self-imposed mental anguish, but they know you see all these people watching. You know, they feel very much like, okay, I gotta, I gotta do the right thing because this lion, you know, he's not fooled. He's not fooled by the trickery that this monkey is trying to pull where he has this mask on. I feel someone is definitely, you know, being forced to look at themselves, forced to look at their actions. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like this, this is definitely a divine masculine that's having an epiphanous moment. Someone could have been dealing with, you know, some sort of, um, some sort of, um, manipulative energy because this 67, four and the seven is 11 and that 11 breaks down to two. So that two deals with the high priestess. I feel someone is getting karma. This is going to be instant karma for this monkey for trying to even, you know, fool this line. Cause as soon as he tries to get up, this line is just going to maul that monkey to death, you know, cause he doesn't look at that line. He's the king of the jungle. How dare you try to play me for boo boo the fool. You know what I'm talking about? Like that's going to be his sentiment, but this 11 that I'm gathering, like I said, I feel that's justice, you know, cause I see these people as like, you know, almost like, you know, the, the jury, you know, they're all looking, they're watching, they're like, okay, anticipating what's going to happen. So I do feel like there's, this is almost like saying like spirit, angels, ancestors have seen, you know, have kind of sat back and watched, um, everything, you know, play out. And I feel like karma is going to, um, is going to play a huge part in someone's decision making moving forward. Cause that's, what's hidden is I feel someone is receiving karma. We got the king of wands here. So there is action. Someone is coming in very passionately, very confidently. Cause that king of wands, the emperor, they're, they're very, um, confident. So those cards just flew out, finished my shuffle. There goes the death card. I mentioned that. So this is definitely the death and the rebirth. So the cards that flew out, look at this. You got the moon. So whatever was hidden, whoever was trying to hide things, is going to come to light. This also speaks to you trusting your intuition. You could be dealing with someone that could be a cancer energy, fire sign, air sign, um, earth sign, water sign. I mean, you got everything here. But definitely pay attention to your dreams. I do feel someone watches you. You know, I definitely feel someone watches you, but I also feel like there was, you know, two people have had, uh, some major changes. These are hyenas, you know, um, and these are two towers. So I feel like not only have you gone through a tower moment, but whoever you're attracting to you has also, you know, experienced some sort of tower moment. So this just looks like, you know, mirroring, reflecting, you know, that's that energy, the shadow energy, what's hidden, you know? And, um, I feel like that's the reason why, you know, perhaps codependent relationships, is the reason why someone now is, you know, um, realizing their independence is the foundation for their stability. And that's why they're having this, you know, this rebirth. Um, we also have the three of cups. So reuniting, I was feeling like you was going to reunite, but I feel like you're going to be overjoyed. Someone could be just reminiscing, thinking of, um, how to come towards you. Maybe you used to, you know, go and hang out with someone, listen to music, um, go to live bands, go to concerts with someone. Someone's having fond memories. I feel um, we have Naughty by Nature, and this is called Everything's Gonna Be Alright. So I do feel like Spirit is, you know, assuring you. Someone could be from Jersey, but Spirit is assuring you that everything is gonna work out in your favor. I see this um, page of pentacles. I'm sorry, page of cups, pardon me. So this page of cups is like new love coming in, and this is like a rabbit. So I feel like, you know, this, this, this like, it's gonna be a very fruitful connection. It's gonna be very um, happy. I feel like you could be, you know, very fertile. You and this person may have a bunch of babies, but I feel a lot of joy. I feel someone's coming in and everything's going to be just right. You know, everything's going to be fine. The six of pentacles is here also where I feel like this is someone that's going to be very generous. It's going to be very supportive, very giving. This is going to be someone that just, you know, gives to you equally, like someone that's going to definitely, you know, assist you and aid you and have your back middle and front we also have the chariot so they're rushing in this is someone rushing in this is someone that may you know have realized how bullheaded stubborn they may have been in the past because remember we saw that surrender card so they are going to surrender this is someone that does feel like they might come in like you know like a storm like they just might rush in out of the blue unexpectedly but they're coming in ready to speak. You know, this chariot is holding a sword. Sword is upright. And they're very attracted to you. They're very drawn to you. And there goes a black cat. My cat is also black. So Spirit is saying, like, you know, people that just, everybody that rushes in or everybody that tries to reach out to you doesn't deserve, um, you know, your time and your energy. Um, that's why they're saying, you know, use your intuition. Because I do feel like, you know, there's, there could be someone 
whose ex is kind of keeping tabs because the same snake that's on this card with the nine of cups that's trying to like bite this feminine um, is sitting here watching this masculine. So there could be someone who still has some sort of entanglement um, and that entanglement could be, you know, some sort of third party who is trying to manipulate someone's energy. Uh, that's why I was going into that spiel about trusting your intuition and also cats being impervious to threats. So trust your intuition and pay attention to it because the sirens did go off um, in the reading. But there is someone, I feel, who really desires you, yearns for you, wants you, but they may have someone who's doing some sort of spell work on them, keeping them bound and stuck because she has learned perhaps how this person feels about you. But I feel this person will cut themselves free and rush in because they do feel like it is, um, it's like a now or never situation. The death is on the bottom of the deck. So I do see that there's been evolution or growth or ascension of some sort. This person has made a decision to end things with someone because it's been very burdensome. You know, someone was dealing with a very burdensome situation. I don't know if you feel like dealing with that. There goes this knight of wands. Someone's going to be miserable because you done transformed and moved on with your life. So whoever that player was that hurt you is like they're going to re they're going to suffer the same consequences of their actions. I feel like you have someone coming in that's really, you know, going to shower you with a lot of love. They're going to be very intentional. I feel like you definitely have... Um, multiple people coming in so just so it makes sense you have a new person um that may not be new entirely but just someone um that you've never been in a relationship with that's trying to come towards you because they've had some sort of epiphany that they love you i also feel that there's someone's karmic someone's ex that is trying to block a connection i'm picking up whoever you're attracting to you may have some sort of toxic um, you know, codependent type of connection because this individuality card came out. So when that card comes out, that does tell me um, that there is, you know, someone who had to break free from codependency or, you know, just a negative mindset. Um, and there is this energy of someone being very meticulous and very controlling and very, um, you know, I just feel like, you know, using their powers for, 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 uh, bad, you know, this, that, that 11 does break down the two, which is the high priestess. So this could be someone doing a little sorcery work or spell work or ritual work, trying to bind someone and keep someone stuck, even though they feel you're their wish fulfillment. So it's like, you know, you have to use your intuition. I feel like you're protected. We did see the four, 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 four card, which means your angels are aligning you with the right person. And whoever has been trying to manipulate someone else's energy, whoever has been duping another person, they will receive karma. I feel they will receive karma. Something is going to meet its demise, regardless of whatever manipulation or whatever sorcery or whatever black magic, voodoo, hoodoo, juju someone is doing. They are going to reap what they sow and they're going to have to um, miss this opportunity because someone is rushing and speeding the hell up out of there. And someone could have been stubborn in the past only to discover, you know, that wherever they were at um, was definitely, um, it wasn't working in their favor. So someone has these memories of you. Someone may have discovered, you know, someone was doing something. I feel this is, you know, like spirit is almost like just waking someone up, telling them to pay attention to the red flags, you know, because when you don't pay attention to the red flags, the tower falls, you know. So this is definitely someone... Um, trust in their intuition. They may have discovered something, you know, they may have just, you know, discovered something was going on and whatever they discovered, it's like, I feel like that's going to be the catalyst to them moving away, moving on and getting away from a volatile situation. But this death is also, in, is, is also um, saying that as well as well as the nine completion so someone does wrap up a cycle and leave something behind this 13 that the death card is reduces to four four and nine that could be a divine masculine if it's not a divine masculine i do feel like there's someone whose heart is opening up someone's heart was numb dealing with this energy because when you're dealing with someone controlling you know what is there to love when you're dealing with someone just volatile argumentative miserable it's like you can't really love but when you are dealing with someone who's just you know a ray of light you know a beacon of light 
someone who's just radiant, someone who's just, you know, um, emotionally intelligent or nurturing or caring. It's like that numbs you, that can numb your heart. So whoever was trying to control the narrative or control someone, uh, someone does listen to their intuition. And both of these people are looking as if something's coming. So it's almost as if they are, they, they're aware that you're coming, like they know, so they're watching, you know, this person, whoever this person's um, person is that's been, you know, trying to, you know, bind someone, they are definitely keeping tabs. And this red is, you know, that's the color of Mars. And Mars is a very um, fiery planet. It, it, it speaks to death, destruction, accidents. Um, so this is someone that's been very damaging in a relationship. You know, they've been very damaging. They've, they've done a lot of damage. They've hurt someone. Their words could have hurt someone. They could have been very controlling. I was picking up that energy even here. This is just, he's wearing a lot of red as well. This person, you know, so it's just like they, they, they don't care who they hurt, you know. Um, but that's what I'm getting. I do feel there's beautiful relationships, uh, especially with this Ace of Pentacles. You got the Empress. Someone's coming in intentional. Um, but you're going to have multiple options because we did see that Seven of Cups where you're going to have to choose wisely. I feel that's also why I was picking up that download. I got that channel message about trusting your intuition um, and also you being impervious to threat as well you know or cats being impervious to threat and scorpios are highly intuitive so just trust your intuition you know when it comes uh to you know anyone coming in from the past you know because as i said mercury retrograde always tends to bring you know old folks past people back into your life and a lot of these people that return they could just merely be tests you know spirit could just be testing you to see if you've actually leveled up if you've grown if you are um if you've graduated to that, you know, that, uh, you know, to that level of, 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 um, you know, divinity of, you know, tapping into your Christ consciousness, or if you've grown spiritually, you know, uh, where you can discern when someone is full of crap. Um, but this is your reading for this card to be on the bottom of the deck. I definitely feel that you're getting rid of all of the old, especially, you know, because you're making room for the new in this new eight universal year. Uh, eight is the number of strength. Eight, eight is also a number of abundance, infinite supply. Uh, I definitely feel it's also, you know, telling you that the deeds that you've done um, in the former year, this year, uh, karmically, you will reap what you sow. So whatever seeds you've sown this year, uh, whatever intentions you've set in this, in this eight universal year, you're going to see whatever you put out there is going to come back to you. Um, good or bad. So I will that you all have been, you know, staying positive and optimistic and doing the right thing um, all the time, not just some of the time. And you will see that, you know, manifest in this new eight universal year. But this is your reading, beautiful reading, I feel. Of course, you're always going to have to deal with that janky energy because that's just, you know, the light that you shine, the your spirit, you just irritates other people's demons um that is gonna be a forever thing I, I i i just realized that it's like you know sometimes you're gonna bump into people that just don't like you because you're happy you're smiling um you're always seeing life in a positive optimistic way and that means there's always going to be some just like you know it irritates you to see eight fake shit it's going to irritate people to see real shit. You know what I'm talking about? So stay your authentic selves. Be your authentic selves. Um, spread love. You know what I'm saying? Spread the love. Um, and ig the ignorance. Anybody that's hating on you because you smiling and, and you just happy and, and, and you seeing things in a positive, optimistic way. You already know those are the ops and you don't pay them attention. Um, and don't let them drain you of your energy. Keep it pushing, keep it moving and find your people. Your tribe is out there and, and keep rocking on. This is a beautiful reading y'all. Thank you so much for tuning in and tapping in until next time. I'll say y'all peace, love and light.